Today, let's review the exclusive hosted by Mr. Jerry Lorenzo collection for Mr. Porter. to be an honest and authentic fashion designer. I don't know any other way. I'm just constantly chasing honesty. And really trying to understand what luxury is. Luxury in my mind is really freedom. to be twice as good. And that's just something that comes with being of color in this country. There's not room for mistakes. Once you have the platform, make sure that your character is in a place that can handle the platform. Your gift can bring you into certain rooms, but it's your character that allows you to stay there. Aspiration to me is constantly trying to be the best version of yourself. Being who you are and being in your own skin, there's nothing more luxurious than that. We all live lives that are full of serving and taking care of others. In order to do that, you gotta make sure your tank is full. Take some time for yourself, be your own biggest cheerleader, and be proud of yourself. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and stay Alright everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ and again we're going over the exclusive collection and drop on Mr. Porter with Jerry Lorenzo. Uh, this is part of the Host It By series and Mr. Porter just chooses to dive just a little bit deeper into the inspiration by quite a few designers. Again, if you don't know about Mr. Porter, they really specialize in men's fashion and this is my first time shopping there and the experience was great from easy chat check out to really fast shipping. I mean, I think I ordered on Wednesday, possibly Thursday, and it arrived on Saturday. So you can't get much better than that. It's very similar to Essence for me, um, at least in my experience in shopping and shipping with them. Now, I will say this, with the collection really dropping 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I know a lot of people probably either weren't in the know at the moment or they were asleep. So they may have missed on picking up the initial drop when it first launched, but I was awake because I tend to be awake at that time either editing or reading or doing any number of things I, I tend to be a night owl and um someone that was actually in a different part of the world i think he may be based in the uk he gave me the heads up that hey mr porter's collection is live go ahead and check it out and that's exactly what i did and the experience was it was refreshing. Now there's already a separate video to show you the difference between the Mr. Porter cream, which is more of a yellow pastel tone, and then the original Fear of God Essentials butter cream or cream that we've seen in the past. I'll go ahead and link that video below and make sure I show you guys a quick recap or clip just so you can see the differences, but you've already, you've already seen what the actual cream looks like in the beginning of the video and then the brown, which I liken more to a mahogany 
mahogany if you're if you're going to title it a specific shade of brown i would say mahogany but it really came off as more of a burnt orange at least to me and viewing the pictures and then absolutely the same thing when i got it in hand now for styling these pieces i didn't want to just pair them set for set because yes i picked up the full sets for the hoodie and the sweatpants for the yellow and then the brown i didn't want to do that however i fully intend to wear the sets together it's just a easy and comfortable look to throw on that is uh, you know just really monotone and i'm a fan of that but instead let's piece each individual item on its own into four different looks The first look on the very far left features the Mr. Porter Essentials cream hoodie in a size small, the Richie Lee Collection wool cargo trouser pants in brown, and then also the brand new Lids Casino Pack hat in the green and gold with the Air Force One shadow and coconut milk. The second look is very similar. On the left, you have the Mr. Porter Essentials hoodie in the brown colorway, which I liken more so to mahogany or a burnt orange. Again, the Richie Lee Collection wool tweed trousers, this time in the charcoal colorway. And then, of course, the Yeezy Boost 700 in flame amber. Starting from the top for the third look, the Love Your Melon lightweight beanie in the tan ombre colorway. The brand new, at least for my closet, but older, Fear of God 6 collection Henley flannel in the royal blue and white with the Fear of God Essentials Mr. Porter sweats in brown and then the Air Jordan 1 Royal 2017, my first pickup of 2022. The fourth and final look featuring the Mr. Porter Essentials Cream Sweats with the Alpha Forward Top, the H&M Pattern Blazer, and then the Nike Social Status Chocolate Milk Dunks to finish the look. Now to finish this out, what I love about the collection is that we are getting a little bit more insight into Jerry in terms of being inspired by his family, uh, what motivates him, how his faith and intention is part of any and everything that he does, whether it's an exclusive collection with fear of, you know, for fear of God with Mr. Porter, whether it's with Essence, um, whether it's a collaboration he may do with another high end designer. Uh, it's, it's awesome to see that because I think it helps you connect a little bit more with the brand than you normally would not having a true understanding of the creative ethos of that person um, just as a creative individual and that is one thing that continuously draws me to him I think he does set an example that you can remain true to yourself um, your faith not wanting to feel boxed into whatever fashion wants you to be or tells you that you should be the same way I'm sure fashion and, and society tells us well no you wearing sweatpants to uh, a really nice event like the Met Gala is not something that's acceptable yet he did that <laughs> and you can actually find um, the short sleeve uh, wool uh, blazer that he wore that was part of this exclusive collection with Mr. Porter so amazing things were available on this drive and he is currently working on the eighth collection and you guys know i'm saving up to uh to treat myself to something of a new collection whether it's seventh or eighth maybe i'm leaning a little bit more towards eighth now um I, i'm just gonna be glad to be able to treat myself to that and experience whatever else he's putting into this new line um we're getting teasers more and more on instagram and i'm just really excited to see what comes from it and we know fear of god athletics is set to drop very soon here in the state so what more can you say a smooth fear of god essentials uh release and pickup for me that now makes, I think, eight <laughs> different pairs of sweatpants. Who knows how many hoodies? Maybe I'll do a follow-up video to show you guys all of the pants, the different hoodies and sweatshirts that I have. But if this was your first time being able to secure anything for a Jerry Lorenzo Fear of God Essentials drop, please be sure to comment that below if you haven't already on another video. If me sharing the link on my community tab helped you as well, or even on Instagram, if you follow me at talkstylewith.tj, go ahead and share that too i do my best to be able to get that news out and i know some of you hit on the pack sun restock which is exciting and awesome too truth be told i don't shop on pack sun a whole lot anymore for the fear of god essentials drops just because they became such a headache and it, there was one time that i just said no more i spent an entire hour 
trying to get something and I got absolutely nothing and I had to resort to the the essence drop in from that point I just said no not playing myself anymore but if you were able to hit on the packs on uh, packs on restock I think that's awesome moving forward not it's not to say that I won't go after anything that has like the bigger print on the front or even on the back but you know we've seen with the core collection and then with this Mr. Porter drop if Jerry is truly moving towards um, the more minimal branding where it's just on the left of the chest and on the sleeve i'd be really happy with that so we'll see what happens uh if you like what you see go ahead and hit the subscribe button hopefully you stick around for more videos and as always act your age not your shoe size peace